My name is Ryan Garapy. I'm the Chief Technology Officer and co-founder of ClearPath Robotics. We're a 70-person Canadian company that specializes in the development of unmanned ground vehicles and autonomous control software. We started our company developing technology to speed robotics research and development, and that naturally includes military research and development. We do supply various labs in the U.S. military. We do deploy systems for the Canadian equivalent of DARPA, and we're the primary robotics equipment supplier for the Royal Military College. And we do also believe that using robotics for military purposes can definitely improve the safety of service members. There are even larger benefits when the same technology, which was originally developed for military purposes, are applied to commercial applications such as self-driving cars, mining, agriculture, public safety, and the like. But after careful consideration, we believe that it is wrong to remove decisions to take lethal force from human hands, no matter what the perceived benefit. We're not talking about using robot trucks to improve logistics, robot boats to clear mines, or robot helicopters for medevac, or even weaponized robot jets with a human supervisor. We're talking about the point where we take humans fully out of the loop. As for us, our entire company, we're not only concerned with developing quality products, but we're also concerned with how what we build will affect society on a larger scale. We decided that there is a real threat emerging here. This is not science fiction, and that it's worth the investment of, of our time to speak out here. We believe the technology, the use of technology in this way is, is unethical, that deploying lethal force should lay with those who are able to evaluate the situation. It shouldn't be merely encoded into a set of combat directives. We can't trivialize the training and experience of our service members we can't say that lethal force, the use of lethal force is a black and white decision. And on top of that, despite the very beginnings of research in this area, which, which should continue, the research in robo-ethics, the concept of an ethical computer program in any sort still remains in the theoretical. And even if we completely ignore the concepts of ethics and morals, the state of the art in robotics software is not able to understand it, is not able to understand the world around it in the way that even a small child can. We are actively engaged in pushing the state of the art of the robotics further forward. And we're acutely aware of what can and cannot be done. And we know the challenges that revolve around truly understanding the environment. We're not there. And I think one of the most important points is that the ban that we're discussing is not going to hamper robotics development at all. It's not going to compromise the nation's ability to protect their lives of service members by use of standoff technologies such as robotics. It will not do that. And in fact, we, we believe that actually allowing the deployment of lethal autonomous weapon systems will cause more lives to be lost in accidents and miscalculations than they would actually save. And unfortunately, we as a company, we don't have ultimate control. We don't have the final control of what is done with our products. We'd like to see the development and deployment of any technology which removes a human from the loop to be made illegal. I'd hope that my government, the Canadian government, at least decides to take action on this position. And I'd hope that other companies and engineers take this seriously, the, potential for misuse of their technologies and, and take action in a similar way that we have, make a public statement. And as a personal note, I can never have ultimate control of what my company's products are used for, and neither myself nor the team at ClearPath ever want to see them pressed into service in this fashion. We're here to help people live safer, more comfortable, and more fulfilling lives, and we certainly don't want to see our work taken to the opposite.